I can imagine what you look like. You're someone who's been looking at all these people just making money all night. Iman Gadzi, Jordan Welch, you name it. You've been seeing these guys for years and you've tried dropshipping, you've tried starting an agency, but it was tough. Starting an agency is pretty difficult because you have to do a lot of boring work at the start and nothing's gonna happen for such a long time and then everything's gonna happen at once. I signed my first client after a year of bouncing between different business models and then once I landed on my current niche, which is short form and long form content for YouTube, I signed my first client within 23 days. After that, I signed another one 10 days later. And then within under 90 days of starting my agency on November 25th, I'm at eight clients. So I know a thing or two about starting an agency and what exactly you need to do. I failed twice before I landed on this niche and I succeeded. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the hardest things about starting your own agency in 2023. The first challenge that most people encounter is they don't know what to offer. This happens because they think they don't have any skills, but that's just incorrect. You probably know a thing or two about video editing or Photoshop, and if you don't, I guarantee you can learn copywriting. There's so many different services to provide and they all work, so there's no point in getting stuck by choosing what service to provide. Try and pick something you're already good at, but if you're not good at something, just learn it. I highly encourage you buy a course. Don't buy something expensive or from a scammer. Look for something that has good reviews and is from a reputable source and buy it. There's so many video editing courses out there that you can buy for like 50 bucks and you will learn literally every single thing you need to know. After you pick your niche, most people wait too long before starting outreach because outreach is probably the hardest part about starting your agency. The reason why is because it's so boring. I actually just recorded a whole in-depth video going over why outreach is the most difficult part of starting your agency and how to get around it. Outreach is so boring. You literally have to do it for hours every single day if you want to see any kind of results. Most people give up after a week of doing any outreach just because they're not used to delaying gratification. They're used to getting a bunch of dopamine from their phone and overall they're not used to having to wait for something. But if you can get past those first two, three, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks of outreach, then you're instantly differentiating yourself from the other 99% of people who are stuck watching all of these SMMA YouTubers. Before you pick your service and you make your website and your VSL and you start doing outreach, you should probably do research for like two or three weeks. You want to watch a bunch of YouTubers and just see what they're talking about, learn about the agency space, learn about how it works, what are the different steps, what do you need to do, and plan from there. If you jump in and you just pick your service, make your website, and go rip outreach, that's not going to work unless you've been consuming how to make money online content for so long. In my case, I signed my first client in 23 days and that's because I've been consuming content on this subject for a year. So I already understood that outreach is the number one thing that's going to move the needle forward. The important part is you can't get stuck watching these YouTube videos and doing research. You have to collect a bunch of data and move forward. Another thing that's difficult about the agency model is that it's going to take time before you sign your first client. A lot of people jump in here, they think it's a get rich quick thing. Oh, I can just make my website and I'll sign a client right away. You're wrong. There's so many different parts that go into it. It's just going to take time, especially if it's your first time starting a business it's gonna be slow. Obviously there's outliers, people who sign their first client in a couple weeks. There's also people who sign their first client within 23 days like me. If you wanna watch that video, it's linked up here. The reason why I was able to sign my first client so fast is because I already had two agencies previously. Not that I had any clients. You're gonna see people who have fast success. You need to ignore it and keep going. Don't get discouraged. If you see people saying, I just signed my first client in two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, keep moving. Everybody's timeline is different. Some people take a year before they see a single penny. Some people see it within the first day. It's completely different for every single person, so you can't get discouraged. If you have a phone addiction, practicing delayed gratification is going to be difficult. You're so used to getting whatever you want instantly. You're going to watch a bunch of videos, scroll through TikTok. The agency space is completely different. I know it's a bit of a weird comparison, but hear me out. When you start an agency, it's going to take time to get any dopamine. But when you're scrolling on TikTok, it's super easy. So if you're coming off a of phone addiction and jumping in straight into the agency space, it's going to be difficult and you're probably going to delete TikTok, reinstall it, and it's going to be a huge mess. But once you get over that phone addiction and you realize that certain things take time, you're going to get over a huge hump. Understanding delayed gratification is one of the most difficult parts about the agency model. Another reason why the agency model is so difficult is because you have to develop good habits in order to stay on track. That sounds corny, but it's true. If you're waking up at 1 p.m., you're staying on your phone, scrolling TikTok until 3 p.m., you're not going to see any success. You need to think, okay, what would the best version of myself be doing right now? They would be on their computer doing outreach. For every second you're scrolling TikTok, somebody else is doing outreach and they're taking your clients. Another thing I want to go over is that small actions stack up over time. So you're going to be doing small things, but you won't even realize that these are making a huge difference. 
another huge reason why the agency model is difficult is because you're going to be doing small things and you might not feel like they're making a big difference. For example, when you make your video sales letter and you put it on your website, you might think that that's not a high leverage activity, but it actually is. And every DM you send feels like another drop in the ocean that these actions stack up over time. You need to think to yourself, okay, if I send 100 cold DMs per day for the next month, that's like 3000 DMs, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. You need to keep track of every single little thing you do so that later on you can come back and realize, okay, this is what's working. I sent 3000 cold DMs and I landed one client. If you don't keep track of everything you do every single day, you're going to fail. Why? Because it's simple. You won't be able to reverse engineer the reason why you were able to sign your first client. Once you know your numbers, for example, I need to send 3000 DMs to land a client. I need to send 400 cold emails. I need to make four YouTube videos to sign a client. Everything becomes so simple. Figure out your inputs and then your outputs will follow. Even though in this video I was talking about why the agency model is difficult, it's definitely my favorite business model because it requires no capital to start. If you want to hear a bit more about why I think services in general is the best business model, check out this video here. Overall, guys, just keep pushing, keep doing outreach. It's going to be difficult at the start, but if you keep going, you're going to differentiate yourself from the 99%, and that's how you land your first client. Once you land your first client, everything is smooth sailing. You'll just sign clients left and right. And then once you get results and you start spamming those case studies all over your Twitter, it's going to be insane. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Check out my other videos on my channel. I'm an agency owner with eight clients at the moment and I'm scaling. I'm documenting my full journey on Twitter and on YouTube. So you want to make sure you don't miss out. That's it. Peace out.